Hello, I'm Frank Jackson. I'm a gastroenterologist. Immunity and prebiotics, they go together like salt and pepper. Let me talk first about immunity. The media bombard us with the word immunity as if we were all scientists and understood the word. Let me try to make it simple. We all have an immune system in our body. It starts on the day we are born and our mother's bacteria reach our colon. There, they make new immune white blood cells that will make substances such as antibodies that will fight off infection. This occurs over our entire lifetime. Most amazingly, 70% of our adult immune system comes from the wall of our colon. So the wall of the colon, where these immune cells reside, play a key role in how strong our immunity is. And what we now know is that the degree of immunity is related to the bacterial makeup in the colon. Dysbiosis, another science sounding word, but its meaning is that you have a bad mix of bacteria within the colon. We all have over 2,000 species of bacteria in the colon and trillions upon trillions of total bacteria. You want a large and diverse collection of good bacteria because it is these good ones that make the immune factors in the wall of the colon and hence in the body so important. Viral colds, the flu, and intestinal infections such as E. coli and salmonella are just some of the infections that we all face in our everyday lives. We rely on our immune cells to be strong and to quickly produce the antibodies that fight off these infections. The health of the bacterial makeup within the colon is vital to this role. What can change this amazing collection of healthy, good bacteria? A diet high in saturated fats, a diet low in fresh vegetables and fruit, antibiotics. Antibiotics may be the worst as they indiscriminately wipe out so many of the good colon bacteria. They often lead to the horrendous gut infection called C. difficile, which is in all the news. Resistant cases are even being treated with fecal transplants. I learned recently that mice who received antibiotics just before they got the flu vaccination died at an alarming rate of 70 percent, whereas all those who did not receive antibiotics beforehand survived. That's right. Your gut bacteria are necessary to have a strong immune system. Don't kill them off unnecessarily with antibiotics. Which brings us to prebiotics. Now, a prebiotic is not a probiotic. No, a probiotic is a live bacteria as is found in yogurt and in pill form. A prebiotic, on the other hand, is a food fiber that is present in plants. The very best of these are called prebiotics because they make the good bacteria in the gut grow so prodigiously and make good things happen in the gut and body. One of them is to strengthen the immune system by stimulating the very immune cells to be resistant to infection. There is now significant experimental evidence in the medical literature that this occurs. These prebiotics are present in many vegetables such as asparagus and yams. Go to my website at jacksongi.com to get the complete list. In a word though, eating 25 to 35 grams of fiber a day from vegetables, fresh fruit, and healthy grains will provide you with enough prebiotics. You can also get the assurance of getting enough each day by using a supplement such as our prebiotin, available at our website prebiotin.com. So what is the bottom line? Let me click them off. One, gradually increase the quantity of plant foods in your diet. Two, reduce saturated fat foods. You know which ones these are. Three, avoid taking antibiotics as much as you can. In addition, and to the extent you can, avoid meats where the animal was treated with antibiotics before they were killed. Four, get the flu vaccine each year. Yes, it works and it is very safe. Five, purchase mostly fresh foods locally produced if possible. There is less chance of contamination and antibiotics. Can this work? I have followed this program for five years and I have not had even a single runny nose. This program is not a guarantee, but it does promote a healthier system that, and that just might make a big difference. I wish you a healthy digestive system from your good gut friend, Dr. Frank Jackson.